this is John Goodell. I'm the executive director of the Archives of Falconry, and I am here to give a quick tutorial regarding our online collection. So as you know, our website is falconry.org, and uh, within that website, we have sort of embedded a collection portal. So if you're not able to come to the archives, you can still search our collection. Although we don't have every last thing cataloged and digitized, we have a lot. So there's many, many thousands of items whether it be books, manuscripts, uh, archival documents, slides, photos, um, you know, material culture like falconry equipment, hoods, things like that. A lot of things, artwork, a lot of things are, are, are discoverable on our, on our collection portal. And I just wanted to give you a quick quick little overview on how to use it. So you'll find it here on the website, falconry.org. And, and the web, I'm not going to go through the whole website here, but I'm just going to show show you the collection portal itself. If you go to the top menu bar and you look at that in the middle there, you'll see collection. You just wanna click there. And this is the sort of the landing page for the collection. And you know, the, down here is the tile that you, you actually launch into the collection portal from. And at the top of the page here, is just a random image from an item in our collection. In this case, it's Robert Widmeyer, a sketch by artist Robert Widmeyer. And uh, just to show you what a catalog record looks like in the collection portal, let's go click on this hyperlinked example here. And um, this is the sketch. You can you can open up a window which has a larger sort of better image of the sketch. Uh, but this is the catalog record. And so on the left, you'll have all the images we've uploaded for that record. And then on the right here, we'll have the, the detail, um, you know, what it is, where it's from, catalog number, the date that it was made, the title. Um, if there is one, this is the artist, Robert Widmeyer. And as you can see, this is hyperlinked. I'm going to get back to that, the size, a quick description of what it is, which is a sketch of some goshawks on a, on a sort of a, a um, screen perch or pole perch thing, um, horizontal perch. And where it came from, this was got to UNLV from the family after he passed, and then UNLV got it uh, donated to the archives. And, um, and and so going back to that, where it came from, when it came from, our um, system of cataloging is a is a trinomial system for each catalog item has a trinomial number associated with it. The year, so in this case, this was, was donated to the archives in 1991, and this is the 18th accession. So the this happened to be in 1991, the 18th thing that, that was given to us. And then 63 is the 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 item in that accession this is a 63rd thing cataloged in that accession that 18th accession of 1991 so that's that's how the how things are cataloged here using this trinomial system so anyway um a quick description here provenance so this is from a series of artwork produced by robert widmeyer during his time in india um which is from 42 to 43 i think and uh or 42 to 44 and he often sent these finished pieces to his uh, to his friend, U.S. Falconer Minor Stevens, and so uh, Stevens had quite a collection. What you what you'll also notice, there's, so going back to this art, these hyperlinked items here. There's two, in this case, two things in this record that are hyperlinked. Are uh, the artists? Um, so you can click on that, and you will see a quick record here, uh, a, a person record for Robert Widmeyer and everything in our collection associated with Robert Widmeyer. And, and we have a lot of his artwork. He's at, this is actually one of the biggest single person collections that we have from a, a, as an artist, if not the biggest. And um, But it's important to understand that this is when you see associated catalog records associated with somebody, it's not just the things they wrote and made, it's also the things they're associated with, whether they owned it or they donated it. So it's a little little broader category here. Um, so the people records are also hyperlinked down here, and I can let's click on Minard Stevens, and uh, you can see everything associated in our in our collection that is associated with Minard Stevens, whether he made it or donated it. In this case, you know there's some of his hoods, for example, that he made, but he also had a hood collection that was beyond just the things he made. And then, of course, a lot of Widmeyer works, as you can see here, and a lot more hoods, and it just goes on and on. So this is a great way to explore the collection. As you go through those hyperlinked uh, people, you can go and it's sort of a, a rabbit hole that you can explore. Wow, look at all these other things associated with this person. And then you jump onto one of those things and you explore it and you find out that the hood 
one of the hoods that Miner Stevens made was was actually an on day hood, and so you explore on day, and then that takes you to a completely different group of people, and it goes on and on like that. It's a really great way to understand the the connections between things in falconry heritage of various parts of the world. Let's go back to the landing page of the collection portal. Here's the tile that you would click, and here is the first thing you're going to see. Definitely take time to read the tips for searching. This is not like Google keyword search necessarily. It works with uh, more like the library catalog system that you may be used to using when you were in school. Um, you know, in keyword search, you want to use ors or ands, not just say uh, Moran hood. Uh, let's say you would say I want you would say Moran and hood. Uh, so let's try that in the keyword search. So on the keyword search here is up on the left. You can click on this and uh, enter. I want to see the hoods in this collection made by John Moran. A good place to start is to say Moran and hood. And you can see these different catalogs that are clicked here. These are the five sub catalogs of our system. So this is how the catalog is organized. Objects, photos, archives, library, people. And I'm going to get back, we'll get back to that here in a minute, but let's just start here. Uh, Moran Hoods, you have 30, 31 results, and some of them are, are things, you know, not hoods themselves, like a CD-ROM about John Moran Hood exhibit, but a lot of them are the, are the hoods themselves, and you can see there's many in our collection, and so let's just sort of click one here. This is a very famous hood, um, and there you can see uh, catalog accession catalog information a little description of the hood and um, a link to john moran from as people so let's click on that and then here we are with you know you may not have gotten every last hood in our collection necessarily with a keyword search but if you go to john moran's people record you're probably going to get them all and here they all are plus a few more things like a painting that john moran owned um, this is a Baumlin painting, a really cool Baumlin painting, which again, takes you into a completely different place. So again, it's a great way, there's a great way to sort of just wind your way through different stories um, using the people records. All right. So that's good. So here we are back at keyword search, and I'm going to get back to what I was talking about, about the different sub the sub catalogs. So the things are organized, objects, photos, archives, library, people. And you can search all these at the same time. You can also click these arrows off and only search one, one of the categories, or you can just use the, the menu bar, the vertical menu bar on the left. And you say, I just want to search objects. I know it's a sculpture. I'm pretty sure that Ross Madison did this sculpture. So that's just say I'm only searching objects because objects include falconry material, material culture, you know, three-dimensional things uh, like uh, sculptures, paintings, hoods, bells, swivels, lures, hawking bags, et cetera. So let's try, I'm pretty sure the sculpture that I'm looking for was done by Ross Madison. And so you, you need to look at an image. So I'm gonna say, I only wanna look at the items with images and press search. And here we have, you're just looking at the objects subcatalog. And here's here's the, the uh, sculptures we have of, of Ross Madison. But here's one not a lot of people have seen. It's this really cool uh, sculpture of a falcon laying down where you can just barely see, depending on the angle that you're looking at, this little uh, head of a little nestling poking out from underneath the, the, brooding, the brooding falcon. Anyway, so some information about the sculpture and uh, a connection to Ross Madison as a uh, as an artist here, a people record. So you can click on that and see, okay, here's a biography about Ross Madison. And then here are things in our catalog associated with Madison, including uh, this book, for example. Or uh, this is a slide, I believe, probably of something to do with uh, maybe a photo uh, that was taken by Ross and it might include his father and and um and another falconer so again it takes you into sort of a different area if you if you want and you end up discovering new things all the time okay so that's an object let's let's look at uh 
we, we've looked at people a lot. And of course, you know, you can search people directly here. And so in the case of, let's say, BB, you want to see everything in our collection from, from BB. Um, and it should be down here somewhere. Of course, in some cases, the way this searches It's easier to use less, so I just using the last name. Here we have uh, Frank uh, Frank Beebe, people record, and then associated catalog are are vast. You know, lots of prints and and books and different different things in there. So anyway, that's searching people. We've talked a little bit about objects, photos. We're we're still making a lot of progress on photos, but you will find searching uh, the photo catalog that that's a um, Let's look at Ken Carney, for example. And here is a really an amazing, well, there's a lot of amazing things from Ken, but here's a really amazing photo album from Kent's trip in 1959 to Pakistan, where he made contact with Muhammad Din and did some trapping and looked at a lot of equipment. And there's some amazing uh, photographs of trapping techniques and, and other things in, in this album. It's really a cool album. Um, so anyway, that's an example of something you can find in photos, in the photo catalog. We've talked about objects library, very you know significant large catalog here, and um, uh, you know another place to, to search might be say an author that you're looking for. Let's say you, you want to search Broderick associated with Falconry and the British Isles, but you want to know just broad, what do we have from related to William Broderick? And so it's showing thirty hits here. Um, and let's just sort of look at, oh, here's a very unique, super rare, interesting uh, Falk, copy of Falconry in the British Isles. It's got a lot of interesting detail, the description, the provenance is really fascinating relating to the authors themselves. And usually what you'll see in the library is at least a photo of the cover and then the title page and then um, maybe a, a miscellaneous illustration, in this case, the, the uh, an illustration of Colonel Thornton. Okay, and then we've talked about people, photos, objects, library. Finally, the fifth one here is archives. So this is gonna be motion picture film, uh, letters, correspondence, like the papers of Morley Nelson, uh, Tom Cade or what have. We've got a huge archival collection of archival documents and film. Not all of it's been cataloged yet. We're working on it every day. Uh, so the, as you check back in, we're gonna have more and more of these online. But at any rate, Let's try to see what we've got here. So I'm going to type in Cade and say we have oral history um, interview of, of Tom Cade that, that was done by Clinton Blount. Blount and uh, this was done, you know, 2010. And uh, we are in the process of actually digitizing our oral uh, tape interviews. So, you, you know, here pretty soon, you're going to be able to click on this record and then actually listen to the recording right here. So a lot more is coming and it will be available. One thing I forgot to mention, speaking of like recordings and things like that, we will have uh, some of motion picture film digitized soon. We just bought a, a digitizer, so you'll find that in, links to that in archives. But in library, one of the things that you will find is a, a lot of um, hyperlinks to things online that may be, maybe this particular book has been digitized and is, is made available to the public on the internet already. So if you're looking for a certain book, in this case, it's Reminiscence of a Falconer, um, Peter Devers, who did some of our cataloging help uh, for us, um, found this book on, on this particular website, uh, scanned. And so you'll be able to click on it and then read, read the book, which is sort of amazing. So keep that in mind. In some cases, especially for library items, you will be able to find, you will be able to find things available to read. Um, and we bought a, a book digitizer and we're beginning to scan books that are in the public domain. So the important thing of older books is that most, if they're beyond a certain age, they are uh, in the public domain. So especially if it's a really unique book that let's say is, has lots of annotations by the author or something that we have in our collection, very unique. We can scan that cover to cover, turn it into a PDF or something, and you can re look at it on your Kindle or what device or whatever. And uh, the, so look for that as time goes on, we're gonna make those downloads available. Okay, so um, 
sorry, I'm just getting back to the portal here. So yeah, keyword search, the basic way to search the collection, advanced search, it gives you a lot more detailed ways. If you know the title of the book, for example, or you know the title of the objects of, of the artwork, it has a specific title, you can put that, search for that, um, search for specifically certain fields. I just want to search, to, let's say, the description field of an object. So whatever is written in the description of the object, I only want to search that. Or I only want to search the collection of Minard Stevens, for example. So you might search there. Or I just want to search the the artist or the creator, the author, um, and search. So there's lots of different ways that you can you can explore the collection in advanced search. One of my favorite ways to explore the collection is random images. And so this is something I do almost every day. I just hit this thing and I let it just pulls a random selection of things from the collection and 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 you just check it out. I mean, things you didn't know we had, um, you wouldn't even necessarily know to search that person's name because you're not familiar with it. So you just click on it. There'll be a, you know, a little bit of information concerning the item, say in this case, all of the books, all the library items have the title here. So this is, uh, oh, the King's Majesty's Declaration to His Subjects. I wonder what that is. So click on that. Turns out it's 1633, Charles I, uh, when he's trying to sort of essentially protect falconry against the, the Protestant roundheads uh, sort of assault on hunting on Sundays and things like that. So it's a, it's one of the older older things we have in the collection. And uh, it's really cool um, where it's sort of trying to create rules for 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 falconry to allow falconry to be practiced and, and uh, reinstated on Sundays. And it's also just somebody that's researching, say, hunting history and the, the establishment of hunting laws. This would and they're not even interested in falconry. This would still be something that they might find interesting. So so that's something that, you know, was sitting there randomly on the website uh, on random images. And so, again, you know, a piece of artwork that you may not have been familiar with. Oh, wow, look at that. I wonder who did that art and uh, check it out. And it turns out this is a Heinz Mang piece, you know, which is cool. So you can either click on the, the, the piece first and it'll show you the image. And if you scroll down, you'll see view catalog record. And so you can you can look at that and it will uh, show you the whole catalog record and all the information associated with it. Or you can just click the title or, you know, below that. So I say, I just, I want, I don't want to look at the image first. I want to look at the, the catalog record first. And uh, you can just click that, that, that title below the object. So I encourage everyone to check out random images. It's a really fun uh, way to look at the collection. So I think that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to, to email me, uh, info at falconry.org. Uh, but please take, check out the collection, play around with it, explore it. And also, you know, you might bump into some mistakes, you know, which were not uh, flawless. So feel free to send us some information if you find any. And um, if you have anything that you think you, you discover an item and you think, wow, I have something related to this and maybe this should go to the archives, you know, we certainly welcome donations. So hope you enjoy the collection portal. Check it out. Um, Send me questions if you have any and uh, yeah, have a good day.